In this video, we're going to be looking at a pretty common task that is now easily solved with the new respace function here inside EasyStone. So in this scenario, we have a heart design, and the outside perimeter is done in SS16 stones. And what we want to do is we want to leave the overall design of the same size, but we want to modify the SS16 stones to SS10. But that's only part of the story. So, But let's do that first. So what we're going to do is select one of the outside perimeter stones that we want to change, come to our Selections tab and hit Mark Selected Object, and then we're going to select the entire design and hit Create Selection. And what that's going to do is going to select all stones that match the same fill color as the one stone that we marked. So what it's done, of course, in this case, is it's selected all the outside perimeter stones. And if we click on the SS10 button here in Easy Stone, it's going to set those stones to SS10 stones. Now, that's part of the puzzle. But what we've done is you can see now the stones are, in fact, SS10, but the spacing between stones is greater than ideally what I would like. And this is always the challenge, is how can we modify designs and fill in those gaps? And this is what that respace function allows us to do. So we have a selection of the outside perimeter stones. These are the stones that we want to modify the spacing between. And what we're going to do here is we need to tell the respace function what is the first stone in this selection. And on a heart shape, it's always the bottom stone here. So we're just going to uh, deselect the bottom stone. Right now it's selected. And then reselect it. And so I'm holding my shift key, clicking on it to deselect from the current selection, and then click click on it again with, with my shift key still selected. And now that's been reselected. And so the way Respace works is it takes the last stone that we select in the group. So we can have a thousand stones, but the last stone that's selected, that is considered the start point. And that's very, very important. And you'll see that if you use Respace enough and you don't actually uh, accidentally set that start stone, um, you'll get very unpredictable results. So make sure you, you definitely have to specify which of the stones is the beginning point. So with that done, now what we can do is go ahead and use the Respace function. So we're going to come over here to the editing tab and we click on Respace and it goes to work. Now, you're not going to really see anything happen dramatically right at this moment, but it, what it's doing is taking all those stones that we selected and making a calculation. Now that calculation has been made and we don't actually see anything happen in the design, but because all of those stones are the same size, notice that Respace has now turned pink. All right, and that's an indicator to us that we're now ready to either add to or subtract from the current stones. Now watch how this works. If I click on the plus minus button right next to Respace, see how the stones, what we're doing is we're adding one stone at a time. Okay, and so that space between those stones is gradually getting smaller and smaller. The actual design itself has stayed exactly the same size we're just adding additional stones to the outside perimeter. Now, there is one small caveat, and that is right down here. Do you see this situation right here? This space obviously is greater than this space. And so what we can actually do is just double click, and I'm just gonna double click on the path, and double click again to add a node. And then I'm just gonna take this and drop it right down here. Okay, and that will actually connect those two together. And so now that we know that the spacing will obviously be perfect. And then, uh, of course, we, again, uh, we can select those perimeter stones. We know that the whole group is selected because Respace is pink again. And when Respace is pink, this activates the plus minus. All right. And so, we, again, we can just go ahead and if we right click, we can deselect. And that will remove stones. And then if we click on it, that will add stones. And then we can adjust that spacing. So that's just one of the many ways that we can utilize that respace function. But super, super powerful to have that ability now um, to be able to make these modifications the way we want to make them. 
and um, be able to increase the number of stones along the, the outside pattern without really much effort at all. So that respace function, you're really going to appreciate all the new functionality that that offers. So I hope you enjoy this one, and I know we got to get a beta out to, to those of you who have been looking at it and looking at it and looking at it, but we do want to get it, everything working the way it's supposed to. So a little bit more work to do on our end, but I just wanted to give you a preview of how that respace function works.